Hey everyone, this is Arthur with Renaissance Art, and if you've seen our Book Bashing 1 video, this is the guy who helped me beat up the book, throw it into the wall, on the ground, kick it, all that stuff. Uh, it's Lale, and he's one of the craftspeople here at Renaissance Art, and we just want to talk to him a little bit. So, hello Lale. Hi. <laughs> uh, I know you're working on a project here. Can you can you can you tell us a little bit about what it is? Mm -hmm. This is uh, 36 uh, essential wine journals with a few slight modifications for a uh, country club, a uh, golf and country club in Southern California. So we're just working on getting this order put together and out the door. Yeah, we did some special printing for them on the pages and, and all. So, Lil, what do you do here at Renaissance Art? Um, I would probably sum myself up as uh, kind of being the runaround guy. Um, I'm learning a little bit uh, in, uh, of all of the jobs that are going on here and the skills that are going on here. So any place I'm needed, I'll go to whether that's making book covers or helping with a bag or iPad case or helping uh, upstairs with the stitching or printing. So just the go-to guy in the shop, I guess. Leo's also made a few of his own tools here. Um, that he uses, and he makes all kinds of other stuff too. So, I'll can, well tell what, tell us what about your background's like. Um, I grew up in a custom metal fabrication shop, and so I'm very familiar and comfortable with working with metals and woods and plastics. And um, my father and grandfather are also tool makers, so I built a lot of my own tools, which include utility knives, cutting blades, um, and then I also build uh, custom knives. Uh, hunting knives, backcountry knives, as well as kitchen cutlery, um, uh, and uh, sell that on the side and use it myself. Don't you have some military customers? I have a few military customers too, so I do right. also do tactical knives. Um, so, uh, yeah, His knives are pretty cool. <laughs> they're not just knives, they're actually very cool. And then you do other stuff too, don't you? Um, musician, uh, obviously leather work. Um, uh, I also grew up doing carpentry, finished carpentry, cabinet building, uh, ever, ever framing, roofing, roof, yeah, archaeology. <laughs> in fact, before coming here, I was archaeologist, still archaeology. I do archaeology a lot of times in the evenings after I leave here. Um, that's what I was trained for at college and uh, have an opportunity to do that here in the Southwest. Digging up things with a little spoon, huh? Digging up things with a little spoon, <laughs> a little spatula. <laughs> so what's this over here? You this, made that, didn't you? Yeah, this is uh, one of the instruments that I uh, most recently built. Um, this is what's referred to as a, a six-string uh, bass or a contra bass. And uh, the neck is, is made from maple. The lamination here is uh, two, two varieties of walnut, uh, an outer portion of the wood and the heartwood. And then I also have uh, alder and maple laminate. So it's all basically laminated and squished together like your cutting board in your kitchen. Um, so. Uh, most of the instruments that I build, I do use this lamination uh, style to make them unique. And um, instead of using plastic back plates or anything like that, I also make all the back plates out of wood as well. Do, do the, you laminate the cigar box looking ones you do too? Uh, I do do small amounts of lamination in um, uh, the cigar box guitars as well. Uh, so far, what separates the cigar box guitars from others is most cigar box guitars are four strings, mine are six string. Ah, great. Well, of all the products we have here, what's your favorite? Um, I would say the 16 by 16 uh, Book of Shadows, which is the, the large, large book that we have. Uh, black ironwork style, uh, door hinge, um, detailed cut over brown uh, covers. Wow. And I think I like that book the most because that's uh, probably the most challenging for me to uh, cut and make. I, Really like the detailed, uh, detail work of it, and I like that aspect. That book's that like, book. that book's like about four inches thick, isn't it? Yeah. Did it up there? When, when you <laughs> so, when you sewed your first one, did it hurt your shoulders at all? My lower back was sore <laughs> after the first day. <laughs> I think I think that book weighs like ten pounds or something. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, everyone, this is Lael, and uh, if you order something, he may have a hand in it because he does a lot of stuff around here, and um, he's a great craftsperson. And that's a pretty cool Contra guitar too, Lael. Thanks. Great work. <laughs>